Everything's changing and it's naive. I really believe it's naive for us to sit there and do things the same way we've always done them because they've always worked. I'm Sean King, founder and CEO of Mr. Fence Incorporated. Very early on, I got into the fence business through family. At a very young age, following my stepdad around, he drilled to me the importance of getting involved with the American Fence Association and any certifications we possibly can get. I went to Waco, Texas and went to field training school. I've now been in the industry for over 10 years around it with my stepdad, but I was on a mission. I took the exam and it was difficult. <laughs> got the results and I remember that I passed on my first try at a very young age of 22, which is the youngest certified fence professional in U.S. history at the time. He's made a lot of sacrifices. I mean, it's so, he eats, sleeps, drinks, fence. What have you personally seen Sean sacrifice for this guy? <laughs> Everything. He always puts everybody first, and he never puts himself first. But he sacrifices his sleep, his time with his family, so he can help everybody else. I ended up taking over Dossett & Sons and realizing real quick that I have no idea how to run a business. But I can build a good fence, and I was motivated. Things started going great. I really thought I was on top of the world. Uh, 2006, I had uh, multiple companies in a little bit of location. Uh, then the economy took, started going south in 2008. We had some other personal things happen. My my uh, late wife got breast cancer in 05, and so we had to go through that. He became a police officer mainly because of Jennifer's cancer. So he needed to be able to help her through. And then my oldest son had some, uh, had to go through brain surgery in the uh, late 2000s. I had epilepsy since I was five. The fencing world gave me that, so we had to take that out. I had brain surgery when I was 15 years old. They went in and removed the two spots that were causing it. So going to law enforcement, I had to make a decision that um, that's priority one and the business is priority two. Him not being here every day was the best decision he's ever made. And the business went from here, profit-wise doubled, revenue increased by 25%. So today, now I'm just, now my goal is completely focused on not making an impact just in Evansville with my family and our community, but now it's like, I have the opportunity to make an impact nationwide. Mr. Fence today is in the business of building people that are changing lives in our community with a focus on making an impact, not only in themselves, but in a team plus one. We are much more than a fence business. We just happen to build fence in the process of developing and building people. We find team members, we don't find employees. Mr. Fence is a representation of where we want to be in the fence industry, together as a team. The family atmosphere, uh, Sean is very big on family. It's, it's a sense of pride that we have. We don't just settle for the bare minimum. We go above and beyond. The quality of the material is superb. We don't claim to be the cheapest, but we do claim to be the best. And you get what you pay for when you buy fence from us. Mr. Fence is a fencing company. Actually, we're not. We're a customer service company that happens to build fence. It's grown tremendously. Mr. Fence has exploded in the past few years. The videos, the YouTube channels, and then it just went We used to build fence one way, and now we have tools and methods and resources to allow us to build fence in another way that is so exponentially easier, faster, and more accurate than it used to be that it's hard for us to even fathom. The machine is well oiled enough to be able to operate on its own. It's just constantly trying to figure out ways to make things stronger and cheaper and giving more value to the customer so we can, you know, reduce costs. What sets Mr. Fence apart from those 
in our industry locally that we work with is that we have a dedication to our team members in equipping them with knowledge and the right equipment, decrease stress as much as possible, and increase accuracy. We put training first over income. We will literally shut down the business to focus on training and practicing building fence. We're focusing on being professionals. We're not okay with just getting it right once. How do we not get it wrong? Mr. Fence Academy happened because we had multiple requests and questions about how we better use these tools. And as we started sharing those and seeing the results of someone using a tool to its max potential, well now that's really moving the needle in production. Mr. Fence is trying to help bring the industry forward by training other fence companies and coaching them with their business. We have over a dozen tools that we have developed, and trademarked, and tested, vetted. These tools are being shipped all over the world, which means they're being used by fence professionals all over the place. Today, I want to go over the equalizer. Hey guys, I joined the Academy back in 2020. And since that time, our business has freaking multiplied like exponentially. So many things and so many tools that Sean's come out with has helped us. Um, I mean, anything from the equalizer to routing kits to uh, straightaways, you know, some people might say, oh, I don't need that. But once you get one, they need about another one. It's transformational. This isn't happening anywhere in the United States. So a little over a year now, um, being in the Academy, definitely changed my life and my family's life for the better. I mean, it's just mind blowing. So Mr. Fence Tools was brought into creation by things that we have found that we ran our company with in ways and methods that we found that made our installation easier and quicker. fastest fence built ever. <laughs> He's just really trying to bring the industry together as a whole. Being together is different. A game changer, there's nothing like it. He has a passion for helping other people. It changed your life. That's our legacy. After we're gone, you look at the lineal of the fence industry was here, there's a change of direction for the better. We were part of that. And the more people we can help succeed, we'll measure how successful we really become. I've been eating, living, dreaming about fence all week. That's a great week, man.